Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us this evening. What a beautiful, wonderful day. We are Red Oak Ruse from Eureka Springs, Arkansas, and the surrounding areas. <laughs> we are here in Fayetteville, coming live for you tonight. This song is one of the first songs I wrote. It's, uh, it's about, it was a rough time in my life, and things are crazy right now. And a lot of people are given a lot of reasons uh, to fear things and to live in fear, but this is a song that might, that might help with some of what we're going through together. So this one's called Dust in the Rearview Mirror. <laughs>
jiving. She heard some business folks say the boy's ego is off the charts, but damn, he sure can play. She told me, watch out, son. Just let your music speak for you. I said, you know what, you're damn right. But I got a few choice words too. These people think that they know me, yet they can't even say my name. I'm tired of dealing with phonies who can't back up a word they say. These people act like they own me, gonna put me in my place. But if you want my attention, gonna have to say it to my face. Once again, to be here, we're Thank over thrilled. Yeah. Thank you for the applause. I mean, seriously over thrilled. Justin, tell us about this next tune for me. Yes, well, Michael, this next tune is one that is based on a true story. It's based pretty much, it's the story of the live musician. Now, things have changed a little bit. Now we're, we're playing for some cameras, and I can see myself too I know on my screen. I look a lot weirder than I thought I did. I think you're pretty hot. Oh, thanks, man. That helps. But anyway, with, without me talking too much more, here's a song about my life. Good job, make some money, buy guitar for Songs, play some gigs in the band, bring up and repeat.
Uh, Mr. Justin Easter, y'all, with some living the dream. <laughs> I love that. I love that tune. I know musicians can relate to it. Um, it's crazy out there. It's wild times. Uh, we're so grateful to have any support, even just the people just watching and lending us your support in that way. We're eternally grateful. Thank you so much once again for being here. Here's another song by Justin off our oh, first album that is on Spotify and online. Our next album is about to release, so stay tuned for that. Fight or flight, Mr. Justin Easter. And that's how that one goes. 
I want to give a quick shout out to all the family and friends that are out there watching uh, watching online right now, supporting. Hey, Tesla. I hope I'm not <laughs> hey, Dax. Derek, Derek, shout out to all the wives, kids. Hey, Charlotte. I hope I'm hey not baby. a broken record, but I just really Ooh, wanted you guys to feel our enjoyment and our pleasure from getting to do this, knowing that you guys are there, even if you're not physically here. Either way is fine with me, as long as the, as long as y'all are still here. Peep <laughs> says hi. Hey, Peep. I think I think Dax is asleep. That's what Tesla told me. So I think he's asleep. Wake him up, Tesla. Tell him wake him up. So I was in a band one time called Mountain Sprout for about a couple of years, and uh, this is a song I wrote on the journeys with those folks. Well, I'm just passing on through, but it seems I fall for you. It's not every day I hold on on that road. You meet a pretty little girl who makes you feel like home. To me, it's in a car. You felt like a glove.
Thank you so much, everybody who's still with us. That was a song by Mr. John Hartford. If you don't know John Hartford, look him up. He'll change your life. He was an amazing force upon this earth and uh, one of my musical heroes. So that one's called Vamp in the Middle. Go check out John Hartford if you don't know. If you do know, <laughs> then you know. So uh, here's another song off our first album. Justin, what's, what's this one about? Well, I just shook my glasses off my face, so now I can't see what song it is. <laughs> I don't want to talk about what this one's about. Oh, so thanks. <coughs> this one's Destruction. About it's obvious what it's about. I really don't even know why he's asking. It's about a girl, okay? It's about a girl. It's a oh, song about a girl. Oh, it Guess is what? hard. Guess what? It's a pop song about a girl. Anyway, I'm super pumped to play this right now. <laughs>
Cheers, guys. Thanks. Yes, cheers. If you're at home hanging out, then raise your glass and uh, take a sip in solidarity with all of us together. I have to say, Fossil Cove beer is just really good. Really good. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. I just got water, so. I'll do another one. Here's another original tune. Once again, thanks to all of our family and friends for hanging out with us.
whoever out there in the internet world is driving a Ford SUV in our parking lot, <laughs> you are done. You have made a big error. And now, no, Shame. I'm just kidding. It's all good. Shame. Anyway, it's it's like Shame. it's 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 just making me feel more like a live show. Somebody's car needs to move. Yeah. Somebody, Somebody needs please. to fix a cable. God. Somebody needs to do once these again. I mean, come on, are we live or are we live? I'm just saying. <laughs> this is uh, one of our favorites here. Original song. It's called Viking Song, and it is named after how it sounds more than what it talks about. <laughs> Just a little side note. So we're vibing. You know, it's like the Viking vibe. And it goes, it goes thusly.
really quick, I want to give a shout out to Deepwood Media, who hosts these awesome live shows and who does an incredible job. We're so grateful to be able to work with uh, like-minded people that just want to continue to innovate and get music out to people. So Deepwood Media, shout out. Okay, it, it usually is, you know, blood atonement, things of that nature. Okay, this song is about where we live, or where I live, anyways, around the surrounding area, leading to other places. Right, Justin? Correct. We actually co-wrote this one 50-50, which is really fun to play with somebody who, uh, who you can just give a song to and write it and together, and it comes out like this, so. Ditto.
So we have a uh, new album coming out very soon, and uh, we've been working on it for about a year in between all of our business and other bands and families and whatnot. This is one of the new tunes off that record, and uh, we hope y'all enjoy it. It's called Imagine That. What I'm doing now is actually just making stuff up now. Maybe this will be on our third album.
Cause you wanna start this over Last time it cost me everything but She thought she and I would get to change the outcome But we didn't change a thing It's all in her head when she thinks that she's not capable just the way that it's gotta be, I guess. And I wanted this to change the outcome, but it didn't change a thing. Every time she said, never mind, I wonder if it thinks my relationship was good. All the while she thought that Stepped on my cord. Sorry, guys. Sorry. But yeah, I, you know, pop that pop that thing right back up in there. Once again, guys, we are Red Oak Ruse. We're from, we'll say Northwest Arkansas area. If this is your first time tuning in to see us, thank you for watching. Uh, we do have music online everywhere available. Just hit us up if you if you want a CD. I'll send you one. Fossil Cove, dude, it really it's good, really, really it's really good beer. Y'all give it up for Deep Woods and Fossil Cove Deep for Woods. keeping it going Fossil during Cove. this whole. So we're just you know we gotta stick together, guys. We're a family. We haven't played in easily a couple months. So it's fun to get up here and jam and have some fun with y'all.
Thank you so much, guys. I don't know about y'all here, but we're just getting started. So, um... A little bit of fireball. Do you think we can talk a bit about this song, too, Sam? Yeah, tell us about a little bit of this song. Well, okay, so this song's got a taste of communism. <laughs> and uh, also a bit of, um, what would you say, horticulture? And if you combine those two and make it really loungy, you'll... You'll end up right here, right here with us, all on the same page. Um, so, it, you know, um, there is an aspect, if I can say so myself, what we do. We call it, we're blue collar musicians. Because I actually literally, w I work in a factory with a blue collar. I wear a blue collar. He works in a factory too. He, uh, he drives. He, he wears blue shirts sometimes. And you, you know, healthcare. We 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 we, we do. We gotta work, and then we do this because to us, music is like you find that cave. You find that cave that has all the crystals in it and the gold in it, and you don't go in there and just go, "Man, this is awesome." I'm not gonna tell anybody. You just, I don't know. At least I wouldn't. The way I want to react is, I want to go get everybody and be like, "Look at this, man! Look at this cave! Look at uh, what!" And you want to enjoy it with everyone, and that's why we're here right now. Because we're all. You know, we're a part of the proletariat, in a sense, right? Yeah, working class. <laughs> he said working proletariat. Class. That's a, I mean, he said that word. That's a right. That's a word. So anyway, oh man, uh, did we just get flagged? Is this video now flagged? <laughs> Zuckerberg is gonna. You're not gonna stand for that. Anyway, that's kind of the theme. You know, I feel like of this next album that we're working on is um, that we're all, I don't know, that glamorous life. I don't. Know. I don't have it, we, none of us have it, but that's not what it's about. It's about sharing the cave, you know? Sharing the cave full of crystals. Boom, full circle. Jeez, my Jeez. That wasn't liquor, that was actually um, a little bit of tea <laughs> that I keep in that little guy. <laughs> that he keeps in there. No worries. I have water Anyways, this song is called Trees.
I hope everyone out sitting on their couch right now watching us play, hanging out, knows that um, we are thinking about you guys. We're thinking about yeah. Yeah. Uh, how tough this is. Yeah. Um, we're thinking about how we can help you guys uh, and as musicians. We hope this helps. I hope this make, let's hope this makes people feel better a little bit. y'all so much. We're going to do our, our second cover here tonight, and this is probably the only two we'll do, because we like to get our original music out to you guys, but we know that covers are awesome. There's so much incredible music in the world. This one's by a lot of, a couple of our personal heroes here, uh, Lee Von Helm. I want to give a shout out to my fiance at home, Miss Opal Agafia. Thank you. 
it doesn't matter. We're not even supposed to be here in the first place. I mean, wait, I, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. I just realized now what, how that is construed. <laughs> we're supposed to be here, but I mean, well, technically, it's kind of a miracle. So we're thankful for that. We're going to play a song. Oh my goodness. We didn't see that coming. It's another one off our new record coming out. Yep. 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 If you're out there in Facebook land, give us some titles for our record. <laughs> if we use your idea, you get free merch. Just saying. Yeah, he just completely made that up. Just but made that up. Either way, I like it. Whatever, cool. I think we got two more for you guys. 
We've had a blast once again. We are Red Oak Ruse. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Here's a song by one of our uh, one of my personal favorite songwriters and people in the world, Mr. Lyle Lovett. So, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks so much, guys, for hanging out. We got one more song for you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for continuing to support live music. There's going to be more concerts here with Deepwood Media. Stay tuned. Stay, pay attention to those guys, their Facebook, to see when the upcoming shows are for our local talent to display awesome passion with the help of these beautiful souls. So thank you so much. We got one more for you. Well, we tune because we care. That's about right, right?
educated and you're swearing up a storm. I'm begging for my life as a last resort. Please, baby, I am damned if I should want you. And I'm damn sure damned if I don't. Your bloodshot eyes and your sweat and your pheromone. It's the prettiest thing I ever did see. 